Hello Star Wars fans and toy fanatics, Steve back here with you today and today we're going to take a closer look at a Target exclusive from 1997 this is Emperor Palpatine Electronic and Royal Guard a very very cool two pack and uh, a very awesome addition to anybody's Star Wars collection now I've had this in my collection for over 10 years now and uh, I've always thought it's very very cool but it wasn't until last night where I actually opened this box up and got a chance to look at these figures really up close and discovered they're loaded with amazing articulation great likenesses to the characters and fantastic outfits um, a very very cool two-pack in my opinion and easily a worthy addition to anybody's Star Wars collection so let's take a look at the box here really quick let's move the Emperor down here for a minute. Let's get that little guard there. Now the box itself is pretty basic. Um, again, it w this was a Target exclusive, and uh, you have the Star Wars logo in front, and there's a side shot of the Royal Guard. In my opinion, one of the best background figures in Star Wars. Very very cool. I like this guy very much. Turn to the side here. There's a shot of the Emperor Palpatine there, of course. And again, I've had this for over 10 years in my collection, so my uh, my box is a little beat up, but still, still very cool. Look at the back here. Now, uh, some awesome picks there. Let's see if I can zoom that in a little bit for you. And. You look at that, and there's another shot of the Emperor there. And a few other figures that came out in this line as well. Now again, these guys are very, very cool, and I was really amazed to find out that these guys were awesomely articulated. And some great detail in these guys. So let's take a look at the the Royal Guard here real quick. Let's put the Emperor back for now. We'll get to you in just a second. Now, as far as the, the Royal Guard is concerned, this guy is really, really cool. Uh, I love the outfit. Uh, looks like Kenner did pay, uh, pay a lot of attention to the, the detail in this outfit, which is not really too much. It's pretty much just this two single uh, uh, clothing things that's going on here uh, but very very cool um, as you can see I don't know if you can see but this uh, outer robe here is actually made up of two different materials you got an inner material here and an outer material which is a very uh, velvety in, in, in nature and looks very very cool in my opinion um, underneath he does have a, another robe here as well which is just pretty basic um, and underneath that and this is pretty much the body here which is very very cool and I'm going to show you some of the great articulation points that this guy does come with um, as far as articulation goes uh, I have to give this guy probably about it eight out of ten only docking it two points for two reasons which I'll tell you why in just a second but um, he does have ball jointed legs and nice pivot uh, knee there and he does actually come with uh, articulation in his ankles which see if I can get this boot off real quick for you this might be a little pain but yeah here we go now if you can see the foot does have uh, articulation in it, which is very cool. It's not a ball joint, that's more of a, uh, a pivot, I suppose. But still very, very cool. Let's put his boot back on there. Okay. Now, again, the arms have several points of articulation, guys. Uh, I'm going to go all the way back. He does have a ball jointed arm here and he does come with another uh, swivel bicep here I suppose and he does have a pivot 
elbow as well and he does have a ball joint and swivel on his hand so he can get some pretty good uh, articulation with that same with the other arm as well and uh, the only thing that I'm docking this guy for is the helmet here is unremovable and it does not turn so that's the only thing that it's a uh, I could find wrong with this figure but again you know it's an awesome figure and I'm not sure if you can see but inside this mask there's actually a face in here if I can get that closer for you and I tried taking off the mask but it just will not come off um, hopefully you can see the, the face in there without the glare being too much but there's actually a face in there which is very very cool I'm not even sure if that's a whole head in there it might be just a face but very very cool the helmet itself is awesome great detail um, I love this guy this guy is very very cool the only thing that I do not like is I only have one <laughs> and you can you know as far as uh, these royal guards are concerned you can never have just one you always need, you gotta have at least two right in my opinion so I'm on the hunt for another one of these guys and hopefully I'll pick one another one up pretty soon but the detail in the helmet is very very cool uh, again the the robes are awesome nice thick material um, a very very cool royal guard and again he does come with multiple points of articulation the only one that he doesn't is the head itself which is you know not too bad and uh, he does come with his uh, it was electro staff here, I suppose, which is a very cool addition. Uh, almost looks like a lance of some sort, but it fits in his hand very well, and you can pose him several different ways with this, whatever you like. And uh, very, very cool. I like this guy so much that I really want, want to get another one very soon to uh, accompany the emperor, because I need to have two of these guys with the emperor. You know, you can't have just one. But I highly recommend this set because it's, uh, I think, one of the best Kenner releases as far as uh, exclusives back then is that, that you can find. Plus, you know, you rarely don't see too many Royal Guards around, especially in this scale. And I think this might be the only one, if I am correct. I'm pretty sure it is. So it's a very welcome addition. So we'll set him back there for the back for a minute. And let's take a look at the Emperor here, which is again very, very cool. I love the head sculpt on this guy. It's supremely detailed and I think captures his likeness very well. Again, the his hood is sewed on to the top of his head, so it's unremovable. But that's okay. It still looks really, really good. Um Again, you can just see the detail in this guy's face is awesome, in my opinion. Um, he, again, he does come with multiple points of articulation. Uh, as far as articulation goes with this guy, again, I'll give him another 8 out of 10. Only docking him because his head is pretty much stationary and he can't move his head. But he has the same articulation as in the Royal Guard. Ball jointed arms. Uh, he's got a swivel bicep. Uh, he does have a ball joint wrist with the swivel of course and same on the other side of his other arm and he does not have any waist articulation though but he does come with you know ball joints on his legs here which we'll get to here and he does have some bendable knees and he, I'm sure his uh, ankles are the same as the real guard with the little pivot as well and so you can get this guy into some really cool poses if you like. Uh, the detail on his outfit is outstanding. Um, get that in focus for you. It's very, very nicely done. There's several different layers here. You got his, uh, his robe here, of course, with the little detail in the button here. He does come with their, another inner robe, which is going to be in here. Let me zoom back a little bit. 
it's all black and uh, again this guy is electronic he has some great lines from the movie which is I'm going to show you in just a second but very well articulated and very nicely detailed in his outfit uh, again if you look at his hands he's got some nice detail in his hands and he doesn't really hold his cane too well I kinda had to prop him up on that but that's not a big deal and his other hand here again with ball joints and swivel which is very very cool and see the detail in that very very awesome and this guy is this set has slowly become one of my favorites and uh... I'm not even thinking of keeping this guy out of the box just because I like the way they they display. So he also does come with his uh his cane, of course, which is all gnarled and beat up a little bit, but you know, it's a cane, there's nothing too much I can say about this, but it's very, very cool. Anyway, let's get to the electronic features of this guy which is awesome now he does have a, a button located in the side of his left arm and uh, these batteries actually been here been in here over 10 years and they still work very well so that's cool so I'm going to show you some of his, uh, his voices here I believe there's one more. I mean, the the sound effects are awesome. They look very, very cool, and it sounds very, very good, in my opinion. Um, an awesome set, uh, a very cool addition to anybody's Star Wars collection, so I highly recommend something like this if you're into the bigger size figures. Uh, there was another early release uh, of the Emperor uh, from the Kenner line which is non electronic this is pretty much the same figure uh, just without the electronics and I do have another Emperor figure from the Revenge of the Sith which is probably a little bit better looking sculpt wise but again he's not electronic or anything but we'll get to that in another video but an awesome set guys I highly recommend this uh, two pack to anybody um, very very cool and you can't go wrong with this set so uh, Thank you very much for watching today, guys. I hope you have a great day. Have a great weekend. And just an update as far as my uh, room collection tour. Uh, still working on that. Hopefully, I can get that done. It's just the one thing after another as far as that's concerned. But I promise you guys, I'll do my best to get that uploaded very, very soon for you. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks again guys, take care.